Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to another episode of the Scarlet Derby streams. Tonight we're playing, uh, well, well, we're we're playing the game that absolutely everybody on Twitch is playing at the moment. And honestly, you know, I I I saw like like two or three different uh, VTuber channels on the way over here. We're already uh, streaming there, and I only keep maybe about like 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 thirty total subscribe uh 30 total follows uh, on uh, just i just have a very short list of streams and it is really amazing um how this game is picked up um chaos Productions says hello so let's give a shout out to chaos productions i know that they had uh, started their playthrough of pokemon legends arceus last night and so they're a great uh group they're a great organization that you know they have helped me out in the past in order to uh get um some booking at some local conventions and uh we're going to be working on some plans together in the future you know it's all very hush hush at the moment but uh where i'm definitely looking forward to it so thank you absolutely everybody for tuning in um that we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get started with the playthrough um tonight's Stream is brought to you by. Oh, uh, geez, whiz. Uh, uh, you know, I'm. I just got a little bit of a problem with that speaker in the background, uh, just connecting automatically. Okay, so tonight's stream is brought to you by Ray's Energy Drink, the great tasting sugar free energy drink in a variety of great flavors. Use the code Derby sent me at checkout for fifteen percent off your online order. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Let's go ahead and let's get to Pokemon Legends Arceus, the stream, the most popular game on Twitch currently. Um, we're going to uh, play our first few minutes of it, all right. I don't, I shouldn't say minutes. We're gonna play like our first four hours of it. All right. So yeah, I've barely just started this game. Oh, uh, you know, hang on a second. I think my screen might actually need a little bit of adjusting. Um, let me see here. I just had it in this funny resolution for a long time. I don't know what game I was playing that required me to put it in this resolution, but oh well. Let's just make a little fix, a little bit that away. Yeah, that was extreme. That was an extreme increase of the of the necessary size. Okay, English. So usually, you know, I move down that little uh, raise energy logo in the upper right corner so people can still see um, uh, their uh, uh, opponent's uh, life bars, but um, I still need to see, you know, specifically where the opponent's life bars are going to appear. So if they appear up there, then I'm going to have to move the logo. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. Oh, holy crud. Is this a great Deku tree again? Okay, okay listen, I'm sorry that I took so long in order to excavate the spiders from the inside of you. All right. Um, I am that which humans call Arceus. There, there, ah, uh, ah, uh, he said it. He said it, he, he said the name of the game. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Keep in mind that while you're choosing your appearance, that gender is only a construct. I'm I'm picking the exact same avatar that I did for uh, Brilliant Diamond. What is thy name? Okay. All right. Derby. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Oh wait, are you sure you're Arceus? Not, because now you're starting to sound like Professor Oak. Derby! C 
Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Seek out all Pokemon. I wish there was a shorter and snappier way to say that, but that basically that's the way I'm going to say it. Seek ye out all Pokemon. It is imperative that you bring captivity to every Pokemon. It's it's getting slightly better. Ah, uh, my phone. My innate attachment to the outside world. Where's it going? Derby, how come you never catch me in the original game? Pokemans, Pokemans Hollow Flower. We're definitely playing some Pokemans. I am being nestled in the generous bosom of the Pokemon that created the Sinnoh region. This game, he's kind of a big deal in this game. Wake up! Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Uh, I think I just died. And I woke up in Disneyland. Are you alive, my boy? <laughs> that guy has got a ridiculous hat. That hat is absolutely laughable. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Uh, who are you? Why is your hat so funny? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come on now, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You don't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, do you? Um, I don't know. I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you can stay? Um, I don't know. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh, I don't know what to do. I see. Well, no gentleman should abandon a person in such need. Crew! Foom! Plish Plash. Oh my, I completely forgotten. I just caught up with the, to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. As almost as though this is a sequence that was intended to happen at the very beginning of this story. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Ah, uh, not exactly. You don't? You truly have traveled a long way, haven't you? Well, these here are what we call Pokemon. Very mysterious creatures. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Derby. That name has quite a ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three would. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? Why does everyone run from me? I'm terribly sorry, but I do. Th do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Alright. 
so I was sleeping. A four-legged Pegasus thingy dragged me into this funny world. And now I'm chasing after a bunch of weird yet somehow highly marketable monsters. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Well, if it's glowing and if it's beeping, then I'm just going to walk right over and pick it up. I mean, that just seems like the logical thing to do. You found something that resembles a phone. You feel whole again. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone in thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. You must in uh, br uh, put all Pokemon together in a place where they can be cataloged and appreciated simultaneously. Okay, I'm still working on that uh, catchphrase. Uh, alas, yet another miss. Aha! I'm glad you come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching the little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs her way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you about these three first. Now that one is Rallet. It's pretty awesome. Rallet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. He also likes to give a hoot. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. And I rate it a 10, so it's flared up quite a bit. That Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, and it's how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy, Pokeballs. Throw these at a Pokeball to catch them. This is also just strange and alien to me. As though I haven't been doing this since I was 15 years old. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, as I mentioned already, Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them and put a Pokemon and... Okay, you're talking crazy talk. This is... This is devilish. This is the work of the devil. Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Is there someone in charge of you? You know, it's actually kind of warm. You shouldn't be wearing that great big wool hat. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in that area. Okay, hold down the ZR button and take aim so you can... Keep moving around and use a right stick to adjust your ang angle. It's it's like an arrow in Breath of the Wild. And I'm going to be probably be making a lot of Breath of the Wild uh, comparisons throughout all of this. Alright. Okay. So, first I gotta find me a Pokemon. There's one over there. And so I put the reticle on the Pokemon, and then I toss the ball. All right. Oh, wonderful. You caught a Pokemon. 
Seems you quite have quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Debbie. Jolly good useful skill to have around there. Two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Why would I fear them? They're on my pajamas and they're on my bed sheets and they're a lamp and a, and a, a whole lot of plush toys. I can hardly believe it, Debbie. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up shopper, shall we? Alright. Where did that third Pokemon go? Okay, there it is. Oh, that one got loose. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Okay, I think he went behind this rock. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Debbie, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. Eh, it's, it's a gift. Um, I don't remember there being context-sensitive buttons involved, but um, I was able to adapt to that quite quickly. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an Auk phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? You're out of your mind, kid. I'm getting ready to haul you straight to the Ha Ha House. If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document a Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Either you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, wouldn't you agree? Come on now, what do you say? Let's go out and let's watch the wheels fall off together. Well, um... Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out? Well, you know, I probably shouldn't rush into a decision like this. <laughs> ah, okay, you've convinced me. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Say Jubilife, that's actually where I'm from, but... What do you say the name of the continent was again? Hisui? Well, okay, well I have an absolutely no idea what's going on. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good godsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. None shall pass. 
I move for no ma- Hey, where are you going? This way, if you please. Jubilife Village, it's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I am moving the stick forward as quickly as I possibly can, and this is as fast as I'm going. See, I'm pretty sure none of this text is actually important. Galaxy Hall, headquarters of the entire outfit. Almost like a hub of some sort. Oh, botheration, I've almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's past this bridge here, then to the left, the Wallflower it's called. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Using the map and the markers. You can also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. Um, also, if you use it at all within the village, you're going to get burned as a witch. I just thought that would be an important thing to let you know. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wildflower is for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Gosh, all I wanted was a Pepsi free. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be mincemeat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Leventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago, and I had to take to my bed. But the Professor, well, I wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! But everything is quite alright now. Derby here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Silene, uh, uh, mommy, I'm sorry, Pokemon mo trainer, master, I mean, Pokemon master, master, Pokemon trainer, Pokemon mommy, Pokemon mommy, mommy. Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey corps, that is. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Please forgive my British accent, despite the fact that I am actually Japanese. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems you would like us to feed and house you in exchange for our ongoing lair. Hmm, you look to be about 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we simply can't take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Also, I'm keto, and everybody, and that weirds people out for uh, some reason. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation, then, eh? 
Betty, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Betty. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. I mean, so, okay, I know mochi is uh, a Japanese rice dish. So, this is a mashed potato dish. So, it's just mashed potatoes. Uh, Professor Laventon, what exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, Feudal Don, I, I mean Akari, you know that great hole in the sky, the one that people call the space-time rift? Our new fan fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomenon. I concern myself only with facts, and when I don't have the facts... I usually just make something up. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are in the grass and forest, by water, wherever they like. Our job at the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. That's where Debbie will come in. You successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Wait, hey, wait a second. You didn't tell me this was dangerous. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. That means we can finally begin our Pokemon research and interest. Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one of the wild Pokemon come after us. Yeah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with his outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Debbie. And think, if you make it to the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fall out of the sky. Jeez, Professor, do you have to tell everybody that? You know, it's starting to sound just a little bit embarrassing. Wow, it's quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more important, do you remember that Derby has a trial to pass? You do remember uh, to join the survey corps, so don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Derby's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Derby, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your uh, fate and perhaps your death in the wild. Captain Sly leans somewhat like Yasui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, huh? It's a good thing we can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend hasn't had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a new good night. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. All right. Just mashed potatoes, those are wonderful. Oh, well, tell me about them, uh, cauliflower. I, cause I don't know anything about potato mochi. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information. Press the up button to open the menu. 
Okay. Saving your progress. Okay. The chest looks like it can save lots of items in it. Um, all right. A nice fire in the sunken hearth could keep the whole room heated. All right, well, it's a mirror. It's a full-length mirror. Garlic and butter are key. Well, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't garlic and butter also go on mashed potatoes? It's the rift. The rift came down and set the whole forest on fire. The next day. Good morning, Derby. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so let's give it our all. All right. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you've had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Okay, I'm supposed to actually know where headquarters is. Seve's corpse offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my po po partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical courts will put you to rights. That man's with a security corpse, and even with his own partners, he took his own beating with wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this pr trial particularly trying. Captain Silene, Derby is here. You may enter. Let us get straight to it. We're going to, and um, let's hope to finish within 10 minutes because I'm going to explode into a small pile of put mashed potatoes. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, pro prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from a start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him if the professor wasn't exaggerating things. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to crack myself up with my own joke. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. Oh man, you know, she has an Abra. No wonder she is so uh, miserable all of the time. I will lend you one of our survey corp satchels to carry with whatever you need in the field. Uh, satchel doesn't actually match your mode of dress. Akari, I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Alright. Pardon, Derby, come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. 
Is something the matter, Professor Leventon? In order to complete their Pokedex and simply for survive in this unforgiving land, Derby must absolutely pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've just got to help just to take it to help accomplish that. Go on, Derby. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Um. So, I know that KS Productions, uh, he started his uh, stream yesterday. So, um, I... Um, I know that he is playing with Rowlet, and so I'm going to be his rival, and I'm going to pick the fire type so that I can, I'll be able to best him easily in battle. You want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes, I do. Easy enough decision. Also, I just really like gold and silver. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside this Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. There is some form of historical significance to this. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help on you with your trial. That could well be. We did go dashing from the village when Derby fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you insist, assist me with my research for now. By the way, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Alright. Those Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as we've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head to the gate. Hey, aren't you supposed to be watching me? Alright. I love the waypoint finder in this game. It, it works so well that I don't even feel like I need a map. Hey, you look just like the girl that I left in, in the headquarters. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you have quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating an odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success, so what do you say? How about you and I see how your Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Yeah, I mean, that's what we're here for. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. Also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope... You'll know you lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. These guys don't have a concept of a lot of things, but they somehow have a concept of HP. Wow, a Togepi. It's about to become hard-boiled. Alright. Quick attack.
Uh, I am Cyndaquil, the destroyer of eggs. Lose items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Level up plus a new move. All right. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And they gain experience through battle. They'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more people knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover with the, from their little exercise. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Five potions, alright. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. He's so handsome. I mean, that's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Oh, to the Obsidian Field Lands. When you're leaving Jubilife vi Village, make sure you choose a destination for a map and tell Res the Guardsman where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Okay, I'm going to tell you where I'm going. None shall pass. You got dare be correct. I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the city of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Alright. It's almost like a map from uh, Pokemon Snap. I should probably play Pokemon Snap. I wonder, you know, just how many different Pokemon games I can fit into one month, one playthrough. Call it Pokemon Month. Beginning of February. Something like that. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Uh, well, you see, uh, Captain Silene got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our own unsparing captain, but what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Derby's talents are a real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure Derby will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Alright. This is Aspiration Hell, the species of Pokemon you meant to catch all live here. comes a Bidoof. Time to get ready to catch it. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you would seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Bidoof has a mellow disposition. It's uh, dumber than a sack of wet mice. That means it will uh, tends not to run from people, so this will be easy. Do I still need to come over here and talk to you? Okay. Might be able to catch Badoof with a well thrown Pokeball. Look at look at the adorable little thing. Absolutely no concern for its own self preservation. You got a Badoof, well done. Try time to find your next Pokemon. A 
There's a startly. They're skittish little things. It'll run if it's startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'd be harder to spot. Alright. So now we're getting into the real mechanics. Usually it's a Pokemon that hides in the tall grass, but I shall be the one to hide in the tall grass this time. Alright. Oops, missed. Now let's run all the way over there. Oh, it flew off. That's a shame. Wave goodbye to that Starly, I suppose. As I said, they're skittish. If one spots you, you'll have a hard time catching it. Alright. There's another one. Blanca E. Cervantes has liked the stream on Facebook. Thank you very much for liking the stream. All right, let's see if we can catch this one. Okay, trying to get the reticle as close as I possibly can. Nope. Okay, crouching. Nope. I think this one's getting ready to fly off too. Yep, there it goes. Well, that's a shame. Alright. Same dialogue. Alright. Okay, crouching and walking and crouching and walking and crouching and walking I'm getting much closer this time all right okay got it this time let's see if it stays in that ball all right got the starly that's Starly caught one as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. She's scouting for me. Look at this. A medicinal leak. I hope I run into a Farfetch soon because um, then I'm going to be able to use those leaks to uh, give it superpowers. Alright. I forgot. There's something I have to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Sileen tells us, have an item at the ready, but want to set out a Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item, press X. The Captain's a real expert on these things. Alright. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring it to you. Now we've reached our final hurdle, catching a Sphinx. A uh, Shinx, actually. Okay, so. So what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to... Okay, I was supposed to throw Cyndaquil at the tree... And then it will uh, knock over trees full of berries for me. Okay, and so um, swap here. And so now I have some berries. It would be useful to use some bait on this next Pokemon. All right, there, that's Shinx. Ah, it's an adorable little kitten. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Um, not at all. Not to worry, these things become clear once you focus on Pokemon around you. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. 
All right. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they've absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them and try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of your Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. You've got no doubt that you'll hold your own in battle. Okay, so they just want me to fight this one. All right. Right, so fight. Um, use Ember. Wow, that took half. Okay, yikes. Alright. Well, at least I don't have to use the field um, here. Okay. Throw that Pokeball at him. Catching it old school. Oops, nope. Quick attack. Uh-oh. I wasn't supposed to faint it. Oh, don't knock out the Shinx. You gotta catch it. Well, is not giving me much of an opportunity. Okay. Wow. Here's another one. Alright. Alright. Amber attack. And it got a burn. So if you don't want to, uh, to work off that burn, you're going to get into Pokeball Shinx. There we go. You approached these Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. Without you at our site, I think the Survey Corps have a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. Still curious why on earth he came falling from the sky like he did, but for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Why does everybody keep bringing that up? Okay, I fell from the sky. It was not my finest moment. Oh-ho, I said you passed the trial of flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Debbie. You've taken their first step towards seeking out every Pokémon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Alright. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report back to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live with in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Although we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene waits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Silene will be really pleased. Alright. Oh, yeah, there's somebody that I have to thank for all of this. Let's uh, talk with Cyndaquil just a little bit to improve its mood. Seems we won't 
have to leave you to die after all. Darn it, I was looking forward to that. You have passed your trial, you can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I have set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Change out of those weird, weird, weird pieces of clothing you're wearing and put this on. Get changed in the room you lose last slide, then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Yes, Pokemami. Stop calling me Pokemami. Yes, Pokemami. Alright. Do you want to change your outfit? Yeah, I want to change my outfit. Alright. Survey corpse uniform. Survey Corp sandals. Let me see. I can change my eye color. I don't understand why you would have contacts in uh, the feudal era. I know that you have. You can have uh, glasses in the feudal era. All right. I think I'm going to stay with this. Okay. Going with this outfit. I can't change my hair yet. It's a good thing I am so into cosplay. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had a tailor just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Hey, my grandpa has one of these hats. Now present yourself to the commander. Alright. It's a brave new land we're living in, which means there's a whole lot to do. Which one of you is the commander? Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope you can help us solve them. Vivi! Maybe I ought to build some spare lodgings in case anyone falls out of the sky. Yeah, I think all these doors are closed. Maybe I went the wrong way. Oh, you know what? Maybe he's on the top floor. I'm pretty sure captains like to be on the top floor. I have been waiting for you. I see you put on the same silver... Uh, eye context that I put on. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Forgive that I sound like Wario. Sam, so you are Derby. Uh, yes sir. Hmm. I have been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Jeez, oh, you know, is there something in the water around here? I feel as though I should know that before I drink any myself. 
Yeah. Mm, you've got vigor. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster, but you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're a part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Derby. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Well, just one hour and four minutes into the stream and I've actually just completed my first quest. So the commander has also accepted you. I don't understand this. You began as a no-star recruit amongst our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the survey course and you'll move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you'll need this. A recipe for crafting Pokeballs. I need one Apricorn and one Tumblestone. And 3,000 Poke Dollars as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Alright. Akari, you're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Sileen. Now, as the experienced craft person here, let's, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. It's kind of what has been in video games over the past three or four years. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think of where we would be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. Alright. Out the door again. Well done earning a place on our team. My name is Anth. I'm the local clo uh, Clothia. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. Everyday kimono and everyday trousers. Okay. I hope you'll avail yourself to the village's humble shops. This way to the craft works, Derby. You can use a workbench here at the craft works to make an item in the village. Um, it looks like a picnic basket. And I'll supply you with what you need to make your first Pokeballs when you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench, choose an item to craft. In this case, a Pokeball. Alright. So. Craft one Pokeball using one Apricorn and one Tumblestone. Alright. I made a Pokeball and I put it in my satchel. And that's how crafting works. Oh, that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of the power to catch them. Also, all so that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. I've got a medieval, non-computerized, ordinary notebook of a Pokedex. Alright. Pokemon that I've seen so far. And Pokemon that I've caught. Alright. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. 
You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'll be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands Camp whenever you're ready, my good baby. Alright. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands Camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Alright. Well, I mean, now I can accept quests, so I'm going to start accepting those. The evolution graphics are tight. Yeah, I, I had seen that in another stream. By the way, KS Productions, I just want you to know that in response to choosing a Rowlet, I have chosen a Cyndaquil. So we are now rivals in this game. Say, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Laventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Alright. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, will you let me have it? There will be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. Alright. I've got to catch other people's Pokemon for them, because we don't live in a world that's completely and totally obsessed with these little animals. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Oh, and, and none shall pass. Alright. Heading to Obsidian Camp. So we're only one minute in, and they haven't let me loose from tutorials just yet. Right oh, let's get down to it, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The tasks, of, the details of these tasks, can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. All right. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Derby. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Um, I'm sorry, dodge? Yeah, watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. Hup! Huh! Hubba! That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security corps had to collect me when I got to the business end of some Shinx's Thundershock. But don't you worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. Alright. Now let me share some Survey Corps wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press the down button to open up the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. Alright. You might have noticed how, that you have a research tasks to do with how many Bidoof you've got. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. And when it comes time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's sw uh, switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. Go ahead. Alright. Well. So if I hold down ZL. And then I press it down. No, that can't be right. I hold Z ZL to focus on the Pokemon. And then I press down. It's still not quite it. There we are. Okay. Um, number caught, I need to catch 25 Bidoof in order to complete their section of the Pokedex. Um, number of heavy ones I've caught, 
I need to catch seven of them, and they have to be heavy. Um, the number that are defeated, um, I have to defeat 15 of them. The number I've evolved, I have to evolve two of them. Gosh, two evolved, two barrels is too, too many, I think. All right, well, anyways. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Bidoof doesn't seem to have mind at all that he was just engaged in Mortal Kombat. All right. See, I have to take special care that I have Pokeballs out and not Pokemon. All right. Okay, I think that Badoo vanished, but I'm pretty sure I'll run into another one almost immediately. Okay, um, I think I'm back online. I, I did temporarily disconnect there. But we've come back and, you know, that's really just going to end up splitting the video too. Probably just going to have to spice one together and then upload it to YouTube later. Alright. See, a number I've caught without being spotted. Well, so much for that. So yeah, how do I put Pokemon back in the Pokeballs? That's what I can't figure out. Oh, and those Bidoofs went into my party too, so. Okay, so. Try to duck here. I don't know if it's possible yet to uh, catch a uh, Shinx without battling it. That's just too soon for me to figure out. Yeah, I got that one without it seeing me. Alright. There are many strong Pokemon that make their homes on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first star record. So I'm still catching Pokemon in this area, is what they are telling me. So more Bidoof over here. It's just looking right at me. Maybe the wheels are turning. Around here, you'll find a Pokemon called Weasel. It's got an aggressive disposition. Catch it. Alright. The dangers of taking... And speaking of which, your research tasks for Weasel include s seeing it use a certain move. Be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right, some there's some of Weasel's research tasks and come talk to me. Oh, who do I use to battle Weasel? Oh well I do have a Shinx. 
Assuming that's that's um, useful. All right. Whoops. There we go. All right. So fight, use Thundershock. It was super effective, and the weasel is paralyzed. So I'm going to try to get it in the ball now. There we go. Okay, there's the Wurmple I needed. Okay. Let's try not to be too conspicuous while doing this. Whoops, I threw my Shinx at it again. Okay, we're gonna run away. <laughs> Wurmple doesn't seem to mind. It's a little surprised. It's a little surprised. Hang on a second. Alright. There we go. So I'm going to give one to him, but I'm also going to catch one for myself. There we go. All right. I'm just going to take a leak here. I don't know where Dawn went. I hope she's not watching me take a leak. And that's the extent of that joke. Oh, I'm pretty sure I spooked that one. Now come back here, you crazy worm thing. You can't stand up to me. I'm bigger than you. I'm taller on the food chain. Uh, I'm almost out of Pokeballs. All right. You're really doing quite well for yourself. You're a little reward for keeping up on me, your own crafting kit. Um, everything that I need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. Oh, well, if you have those, these things, then, then why did you show me how to use the workbench? And here's a recipe for potions, too. Let me guess. Medicinal leeks, right? One orange berry and one medicinal leek. That's what you use to make a potion. So, all of this time that we've been using potions in Pokemon games, we have uh, been like just combining uh, fruit and onions. All right. How goes your research? The cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you have finished and can export. All right. Number of Pokemon caught. All right, let's. I'm having a few issues with drop frames. I think, uh, yeah, more than half of my uh, streams have been drop frames at this point. Drop frames more than 47%. Over the last two minutes. 
Um, it's not getting any better. It's been a long time since, you know, I've had a stream just decide to flunk like this. So I'm just keeping an eye on things. All right. Okay, I think the coast might be clear. I'm hoping that any drop frames that I'm going to have aren't going to increase from this point. All right. Please report back to Professor Leventon once you've got some research tasks good and done. All right. So, let me see if I use a Pokemon to clobber this tree here. Because I definitely need more crafting materials. What am I supposed to press in order to uh, in order to bring up my menu? Um, I think I'm supposed to press the minus button. No, that's my map. Um, okay, up is my bag. Let's see, Zio. Okay, so now I've got some items here. Okay, so I only have Okay. I don't know how many I can... Okay, I, I have 16 Temple Stones, so I can make as many Pokemons as I have Tumble Stones. That's what I can do here. Alright. Oh, actually, I can just increase the number. Okay. <laughs> I almost thought that, that this was going to be an Animal Crossing thing. Alright. Okay, craft four potions. Okay, that's how that's done. Okay, so. Uh, my number of drop frames has gone down. So yeah, I'm hoping I'm out of the woods when it comes to that. All right. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. But anyway, I'll just roast over the electric type. Okay, got some level ups for that. I'm holding on to three Badoofs right now. I don't know what I need to do in order to change party members. I think I have to go back to the village and then use the pasture. We're going slightly back to original Pokemon mechanics here. There is no explaining um, how to how to how to uh, how a Pokemon would be able to materialize out of nowhere. Okay. I found the button that I can use to flip. Yeah, remember to practice that one. Okay, talk to Leventon. Oh ho, if it isn't a crafting kit. You must have listened attentively to Akari's teaching. Excellent work, dear boy. It seems like a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards that they offer. Alright. 
On that note, let me check the research task you completed this far. Total Pokemon caught, 10 or more Pokemon in one report is achieved. Different species caught is five, and five of them are Pokemon I caught for the first time. All right. So I'll get paid for that. Most eliminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. All right. Ah, not quite there yet, I'm afraid. You'll need to complete a few more research tasks before you're ready to go up a rank. I recommend you work your way through Bidus and Starly's tasks first. Hang in there. Alright. Um. I'd like to do some shopping. What would you like to buy? Okay, he is the, uh. He's the shop for this area. Let's see. Um. Cake lure base. So that's something for baiting. I'm not entirely sure what that's what that's for. Um, I see if I can actually ask him. I want to see my Pokemon. Okay. So this is how I change Pokemon. Um, Pasture one has uh, has these Pokemon, and so I just don't want to be carrying around uh, two uh, Bidoof, So I'm going to put two away. All right, and I can replace them with Weasel. And Wurmple. All right. Yes, I want to return to Jubilee. Yeah, I know. Uh, this probably hasn't been a little bit... Uh, this hasn't been too terribly interesting, but... Yeah, I'm just st sitting here, you know, just making sure that my uh, that uh, my stream doesn't suddenly drop just like it did a moment ago. All right, the Garo. You're at the photography studio. You can enjoy taking photos together with your Pokemon. Ever consider preserving a lovely memory with your Pokemon as a photograph? Come on in and give it a try. Oh wow, I got roped into this one. All right. So I caught the Wurmple for this gentleman. Have you got the Wurmple you could give me? Yes, I can. Here you are. Sure you want to give up the Pokemon? Yes, I do. You really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now I've been told the Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Mm, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you like? Beautisha, Beautifred, or Beugene? Uh, how about Beautisha? Yeah, I like Beautisha too. I guess that's decided then. Alright. I'll raise Beautisha to be a Splendiferous Beautifly. Wait and see. Oh, you're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? The scurvy co corpse must have to get out and are about to compile that Pokedex book that they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I simply feel whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Alright. 
So yeah, part of uh, what people's tests are going to be is, is are actually the tests so com that are in the Pokedex already. All right. I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the inside, but what were they? No use. I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, would you show it to me? Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. All right. Got a Shinx to show me? Yes, I can show you this one. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. Yes, that yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Alright. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my uh, brain and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. And I got three potions for that. Okay, I think that's all of the tasks I can complete so far. I'm gonna head out again. All right. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Out to the camp once again. Um, I wonder if I've caught all of the specific, the types of Pokemon that um, are in this area. Um, and then I can shift it to probably like evening or nighttime to see if I can catch more of uh, the nocturnal ones. All right. Let's go a little bit this way. Okay, grab more leaks. Oops. Say that Wurmple is silently after me. We're curious, aren't we? There we are. I'm not going to catch anything dropping around like that. I can't do that trick that they try to show me is that um, I look at the Pokemon with um, R and then I press down to open the Pokedex. Okay, I need to catch three Wurmple. I think that's right. Okay, number of light specimens I've done. How can a Wurmple be anything other than light? That's what I don't understand. All right. I'm getting away with this more times than I would in the regular, uh, in the regular game. Uh-oh. Screaming went dark around me. I'm assuming something's closing in on me. There's a task for me to do over there in that area. Okay, I don't know what was closing in on me, but it doesn't matter because I'm leaving now. I moved on. It's my job. It's what I do. Or is it just showing me where camp is? I think there's a very good chance of that. Yep, that's what it is. So unless I have another waypoint, I should be ignoring that one. Alright. more 
energy of Pokemon's got, the harder it will be to catch. If you battle a Pokemon and lower its HP, or maybe inflict paralysis with a move like Shinx Thundershock, it should be easier to catch. Oh, is that to say that um, uh, paralysis actually does work to uh, help you catch Pokemon in this game? Alright, that one just hurt me. Okay, that's how I bring back a Pokemon. All right. Okay, that one's just gonna run off now. No need to labor the point. All right. Okay, up to three. Okay, so... Number of different forms I have obtained. There are two different forms. I guess it's the regular and the shiny one. The number that I defeated in the battle and the number I've evolved. I haven't evolved any yet. There's a bit of a shiny rock over there. What do you got for me, you crazy shiny rock? You rub, oh, can I rub you and give you three wishes? Well, um, I could try to send a Pokemon after it, but it's probably not going to do anything. Oh, actually it did. And now I've got five more tumble stones. So these are tumble stones in the wild, and so I need to break them in order to make more Pokeballs. That's how that works. Uh oh Eyeball. I don't know why the meat oh, there's some shinks coming at me. Um Gotta be careful because sometimes Pokemon can gang up on you in this game. Alright. Oh, the other one tried to sneak up on me. So once again, release the Pokemon in order to break the rock and get the tumble stones that I need. All right. Grab another leak. All right. Now what? And I need to try to craft uh, not m as many Pokeballs as I can carry. Alright. So 
So that red eye bell tells me when a uh, aggressive Pokemon is fixed on me. I know that now. Is it still following me? How far back did I leave that thing behind? All right. I'm just walking around this open field. Oh look, it's an Eevee. Oh, it would be so nice to catch an Eevee. I wonder if I have the ability to yet. Uh, I didn't mean to get into a battle in, uh, with it, but no, nope, it just ran away. I didn't have my Pokeballs highlighted. I just uh, uh, brought out my Pokemon to battle it. And I shouldn't do that because Eevee is clearly a lot more timid than that. And he's not going to fall for tactics like that. That's why he sells the most toys and action figures. All right. This is what the captain told me to watch out for, and I'm not watching out for it. So I'm not doing what the captain is telling me. All right. Ooh. So I've heard about this. That over there is an especially large and very aggressive Rabidash, and I want to avoid it for now. Just try to steal the apricorns and then make it out of here with my hide still intact. There's a smaller Pokemon. That's a Ponyta. So it's probably more than likely if I'm going to try to catch a Ponyta, I need to use a uh, Pokemon. And I have a Buizel, which is a water type, so I'm going to try to use that one. Alright. Let's fight. Quick attack. Fortunately, it doesn't have any water moves. Okay. I got a free turn. Ponyta is looking around. Okay. Used Ember against me. That's probably one of the few attacks that it actually did, uh, that it's actually done so far. All right. Let's see if I can catch it. There we go. So, new po uh, new Pokemon added to the decks. So, you know, now, you know, in the amount of time that I've been out in the field, it's actually turned into night. Ooh, there's a uh, Drifloon. And it's coming after me. All right. Now Weasel has a water attack. Oh, hit me with Confuse Ray. Okay, normal attack does no damage to Drifloon. That's something that I know from my Pokemon 101. Alright. Alright. Let's try to hit that Pokeball here. Nope. It escaped. And now it's getting meaner. Okay. 
You're weaker. Get, try to get in the ball now. Alright. Nope. No such luck. Oops. I fainted one. Case. I almost have this one in the bag. Okay, now I got it. So Drifloon is a pretty neat uh, flying slash ghost type. And I would like to have it. I'd like to have it in my party. So I kept trying to catch one when we were in the middle of playing Brilliant Diamond, but unfortunately I just never got the opportunity to. How far away am I getting from camp? Grabbing our leak. I haven't been so good at catching Pokemon, but I am definitely good at uh, grabbing uh, crafting items. I didn't know I could go this deep into this valley. It's probably not a good idea for me to try to cross a river. Ooh, somebody is dropping confusion on me right now. It's that Drifloon over there. Got to be careful about that. All right. Up. Oh, there is that. Very large Rabidash I should be avoiding right now. There are plenty of Drifloon though. I'm running, I'm running away and the entire forest is after me. I have plenty of uh, medicinal leaks. I haven't seen a lot of berries, though. I've almost made it back to base camp. This is, that's what I incidentally have been trying to do this whole time. Gosh, these uh, wooden saddles are hard to run in. Okay, 
rest and camp until morning. I think that gives me the ability to uh, revive uh, my Buizel from fainting. But don't quote me on that. Okay, yeah, it has it has healed. Okay. Resting Pokemon, always a good idea. Okay, let's hit this crafting bench. Okay, I need... Let me see, I can make up to 11 new Pokeballs. Um... I can probably make like four more potions. All right. Oh, I forgot to swap my Pokemon. I'm gonna come right back. All right. So, Drifloon is going into my party um, instead of Bidoof. Sorry, Bidoof. I already tried to train you during Brilliant Diamond. I am not going to do it again. to watch out for those short falls. Whoops. Threw that one a little bit short. even throwing pokeballs there we go such like well it was going all right for a little bit there okay so Cyndaquil got a level up and a new move that's what that pre update said It's a little bit unnerving that there's almost no sound. I mean, unless you're in like a very tense situation, like you're surrounded by aggressive Pokemon or something like that. All right. Okay, so what do I have on Bidoof? Um, was my Pokedex? I need to catch up to 25. I need to... I need to defeat 15. Alright, let's get... We're gonna speed this up a little bit.
So in order to rotate this menu, you have to press L and R. I think it would have been better if it, they had used a control pad instead. But that's me. That's just something that I believe. All right. Got it right in the place where I can catch it. There we are. Up. Oh, something's following me. That one right there. Okay, you really want some of this? Because let me tell you, I barely know the Shinx. He has gotten really good at this. Shinx has a new move now. See, now all of a sudden, once again, here's music, you know? So now it has a bite attack. We're not inclined to find an awful lot of, uh... Uh... Potential psychic types that I need to use that bite attack on, but... What happens when I go in the water? Oh. Uh, I guess I got answered my question. People in open world games are notoriously bad at swimming. I gotta reach that 25 Badoof quarter now. Alright. Battling Pokemon. Knocking out Pokemon or catching Pokemon, it all doesn't matter to me. I just have numbers to, uh, to complete. Okay, and now I wanted, I wanted a potion so that I could uh, give it to uh, Shinx because he is very low on HP right now. All of, all of my Pokemon right now are male except for Starly. I guess this one doesn't count as a crit attack. Alright. 
I did get a little light on my feet for a half a second there. I think I walked a little too close to the Pokemon battle. Alright. This is going well. Try to catch this Wurmple. Try to catch that Wurmple. Oh, that one ran off. Okay, now it vanished. Look at it running for its wormy little life. How tragic. I wasted three Pokeballs on that. Let's get out that crafting kit again. I only have two measly apricorns right now. I have 32 tumble stones. I, I need to find another apricorn tree. Catch a Badoof. That's a new mini game I'm working with here. I don't even know the. I don't even bother to look over there. I, I just know that the Badoof is in the Pokeball. That's how confident I am. Alright. No, don't pay no attention to me. Oh boy, did I ever miss that shot. That was a total air ball. All right. Got lots more ramberries. I can actually work on that cache of potions that I need to make. Up. That one got poisoned. I don't know why I battled this Wurmple. I haven't battled any of the previous Wurmples. Okay, I've seen it use Poison Sting now. I guess I, you know, even though it is an easy Pokemon to catch, um, I still have to consider battling it so I can fulfill some of the tasks that are in the Pokedex. I know that now. I understand that now. I persisted on just catching that one Whirlpool anyway. The 
think that was my last Pokeball. I'm really, really hoping that the Pokemon will go, will respect that I use my last Pokeball and stay in it. Um, let me look at my bag. Okay, I have five Apricorns. I can make five more Pokeballs. All right. fight you. I just want to shake the trees. Alright. I haven't seen a ton of Oranberries. That's one way to get back up the mountain. I see you've caught 17 Pokemon. Care to report your findings? Yeah, why not? A uh, whole thousand Pokebucks. Oh, it seems like you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. I'll update the Pokedex with this new data. All right. You've made good progress on these research tasks, uh, Debbie. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the moves to Captain Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Well, I guess I'd talk to the professor in order to move the story ahead. Otherwise, you know, I'm just going to be sitting here merrily catching Pokemon throughout the entire uh, playthrough. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. I am definitely enjoying the game. I don't want to make it sound like I'm not. You just have the ability to just focus in a little bit too much. All right. If you have progress or a portal, judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. All right. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you will have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Now I can go to that area that's uh, just on the other side of the uh, of the Shinx. All right. I can now use heavy balls. That's good to know. Pokemon of, le of up to level 20 will also um, award your... Well, will also obey you. Okay. So I guess having a star is the same as having a gym badge. Have these as well. These are feather recipes you need for crafting. Good. I could use that. Okay. Heavy balls. I need an apricorn and a black tumblestone. Alright. A uh, recipe for a revive. Uh, one Vivid Choke and two Medicinal Leaks. Okay. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it and even if you did fall from the sky, people are more will be more willing to accept you. 
working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Alright. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Oh, goody. More mashed potatoes. So, Dabby, my boy. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very be easy from now on between our survey corps duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on the request from Beauregard? Um, yeah. The people of Juvelife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the survey corps get called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed for my blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What was that all about? Uh, about that, I was thinking maybe Derby could handle it for me. I was told I required a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah, yes, that request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui before the Galaxy team arrived. If we can establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them. There's, uh, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. Ah, ma, 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 ma. Oh my god. Those are some good potatoes. All right. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this or something I could use your help with? Um, all right. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you've had a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. All right. So that's the next major storyline. Um, Welcome, young man. What can I help you with today? 500 uh, Pokebucks for a hairstyle. Okay. All right, now. Um, Anthe is the clothing salesman. A special parcel has arrived with your name on it. You mean a mystery gift? A modern jacket, a pair of modern uh, trousers, and a pair of modern shoes. What a precious gift. Please take good care of such fine attire. All right. Oh, am I getting another one? A uh, shaman fancy kimono and a pair of shaman fancy bottoms. All right. I don't know why I'm getting all these gifts. All right. Let's see if I can buy some meaningful clothing. Uh, caps in different colors. A woven hat. I like the look of the woven hat. Um, headbands. Um, everyday kimonos in different colors. Um, different colors of everyday trousers. Um, different colors of karate geese. They would go with the headbands. Lots of new pairs of uh, sandals. Eyeglasses. Alright, well. Some things I want to get here. Um... See, this is a Cyndaquil kimono. Maybe I, I've unlocked it by... Uh... By picking Cyndaquil out as my main Pokemon. Okay, so... I mean, that is really special. It would cost me half of my money, though. Okay. 
I'm gonna spend a thousand on some red on a red uh, kimono and some red trousers. They say they're crimson. It's kind of close to the color that I use for myself. Now uh, let's see. I'd like to get some. Uh, I'd like to get some new sandals too. I have the Zori sandals uh, with red straps or the Geta sandals with red straps. I think I'll go with them. All right. And as far as eyeglasses. I think I'll leave the eyeglasses on, on, on the shelf for now. All right. Well, now I look a little bit more like myself. I wanna go back to the quarters and see some of these other uh, clothing items that I managed to get. Okay, that's my item storage box. This is where I change. All right. So I have a modern jacket. Um, it looks like a Team Galactic jacket. I don't know. Okay, everyday kimono and nickel. A fancy kimono of Shaman. Yeah, or a, a modern jacket. Um, all right, um, Shaman Fancy Bottoms, which is also a really good nickname for a, for a Shaman. You should totally name your Shaman that. Everyday trousers in nickel, or modern trousers, which I believe go right alongside the uh, Team Galactic outfit. The survey corpse uniform or the casualty. Um, and then different color contacts. All right, just going through all this. Um, all right, let's go see what Don wants. So during my stream will probably be the only time that I uh, can advance the storyline. Um, while I'm off stream, I can do the work of uh, collecting all the achievements in the uh, Pokedex. All right. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Listen, I've had an epiphany, and that is? You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but uh, we've got to work together to help compete to complete the Pokedex. You have a Pokemon? Yes, this is my partner, Pikachu. Oh, gee. I was wondering how Pikachu was going to ingratiate himself to us in this title. Bigger, bigger, bigger. When we were attacked by those shinks, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refuse to listen to anything I tell them. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to bat guide him in battle. Big up. But when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we needed to do more, too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. All right. Yeah, I've been challenged to a battle. Interestingly, Pikachu has gone back to his old 8-bit call. He's not uh, using the uh, anime voice anymore. Um, I definitely don't have a ground type yet. Thundershock is probably not even going to do anything here. Ouch. I 
I think most of my team is weak against electric at this point. Let's try quick attack. Ooh, that did a lot more damage. Up. Oh. Shinx fainted, though. Time to uh, bring out another Pokemon. Let's do some Poison Sting. Alright. Down goes Pikachu. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Phew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood each other. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Big up. Guess I was wrong then. I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference. Pikachu seems to be an electric type. Yep, I know all about this. So you're the one, that new recruit everyone's talking about. Oh, wow. She's a tall drink of water. My name is Zizu, captain of the security corps. Please forgive my Russian accent despite the fact that this is Japan. I see that you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give you what advice I could. Captain Zizu is a master of ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it will take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course regular moves. Choose what is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. So this is pretty neat. We've got a little bit more versatility when it comes to how we uh, do moves in a Pokemon battle. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Caesar's teaching should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now I suppose it's time I went to meet Mai. You remember? I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. I to meet her down the, past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well once you've ready your Pokemon team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zizu if you'd like. Alright. So I thought I saw a notification that um, Rumpel will have the ability to evolve. Let's see. I don't quite know how to do that yet. Alright. Here at Training Grounds, your Pokemon can master their moves or learn new moves. So, hello there, Survey Course Recruit. Do you need something from me? Um, I want to master moves, new moves, master moves, exchange items. Um, let's see. Which of your Pokemon do you want me to tutor? How about Drifloon? So, which moves should it learn? Um, Swift, Ominous Wind, Focus Energy, Calm Mind, and Rest. And so these cost money, so I'm going to do a little bit more field work before I start, you know, paying for customization of my Pokemon. All right. I haven't seen any new villagers with quests. I'm pretty sure that I have um, 
lots of uh, quests that I need to complete at this point. Um, let me see who is who who needed who needed what. Um, lost and found mystery gifts. I'll do that offline. Um, survey tips, game controls, and settings. No, that's not quite it either. Okay, this is an item storage box. So is this is a pasture everyone's talking about. Pastures house many Pokemon you catch. Collect them from here to change up your party. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? Like leave, leave? No, I guess it's just the same kind of uh, box system. All right. Heading outside the village, are we? Save safe out there, kid. Boo. There's Volo again. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. How much you want to bet he is going to turn evil? Place your bets. Place your bets. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. That's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Yeah, I know about that one. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as you all are, you might end up beating every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Because I want to use that. What you have accomplished. For evil. Oh, you're that boy from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lore recipe I invented. I call it mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging to know how to come up with this recipe, and I just know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching up onto my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go, too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spend, spread the good word by using it. Oh, you need to get the key ingredient of the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the forges of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. Alright. So now I have a recipe for that mushroom cake bait that I was supposed to be, uh, I w I w had heard about. So let's see. Okay, I'd make more uh I'd make more pokeballs, but I don't have any apricorns, so that's probably the first thing I've gotta do with another day out in the field.
Okay, maybe it's not a good idea to fight a worm against a bird, but uh, it was going to run away anyway. Many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I'll let you pass unless you're for Oh, at your rank, you should be fine. Go on, then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. All right. Feudal Dawn is talking to someone new. Over here. My, this is Derby. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I presume you're prepared to be of help. Oh, you know, I said my, my, but you know what I should have said instead? I should have said, ara, ara. Say, there's your added value, folks. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I presume you're prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving, so the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. That security course of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This year is my partner Munchlax. We are raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Alright. It's getting ready to use a strong style on me. Up, oh. and I got one hidden. That's unfortunate. Okay, um, since it's stuck in rollout for the moment, uh, then um, the best thing to do right here would just to be use a normal uh, ghost type so that. Um, they won't be affected by uh, normal attacks. So let's see. Um, I'm not going to be able to... Uh... Yep. So it's a good thing that I have a ghost type. Otherwise, um, this would be a really obnoxious battle. Whoops. Oh, I defeated Munchlax. The battle has been decided. Alright. Budge. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. I'll just get healed now. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? This should prove to be useful materials. Five Vivichokes. Um, it's used as material for crafting items that can restore vitality to a Pokemon that has fainted. So, I've got Paralyzed Cure Recipes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one of, with them. Rather than the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I needed someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. It's a large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you, to Deer Track Heights? Uh, I guess my phone wants me to, so I'm more than likely going to be going. That thing you have, it's showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? My, my, that's some curious sort of map. It's one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about. Certainly does seem to show the way to deer track heights up ahead of us. 
I'll leave this in your hands. You do great out there, I know it. Seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Um, Almighty what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It is said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow, and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It is by the grace of the Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region. To venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. Well, yeah. Um, it's a, it's a alpha Pokemon, just like that really big, um, just like that really big, uh, Rabidash that's on the other section of this map. See, I see there's a cricket tune just kind of warbling back and forth there. Yeah, these new berries, yeah, these are cherry berries. I need I need an apricorn tree because I am running low on pokeballs right now. There we are. That's some of them. A pep up plant. More than likely used to make pee pee up. Ooh, there is an aggressive. It's a, uh, it's a Geodude. It's a rock type, and it is coming this way. Where's my water type? All right. There we go. Try to tag me up the road, why don't you? Probably should have made an attempt to catch that one. know if I'm catching the right Geodude at this point. Nope. Down goes Beasel. Alright. I don't even know who to turn to at this point. That's astonish you. Um, right away because I still need a lot of the regular kind of Pokeball. I keep hearing that this Wurmple can evolve. But I don't know how to evolve Pokemon yet.
swap that Pokemon with Shinx. Um, let's give it a bite attack. These guys keep trying to uh, hurt me using uh, Rollout. I didn't think Rollout would be such an important move in this new uh, Avant Guard version of Pokemon. Alright. Very good. So even your professor decided to join us. Ooh, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business, fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of the ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. And that's what you're here for, Derby, to drive the interloper from this place. I'm sure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. So she gave me some heals. That's good. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They are strong, and many know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you're stronger than this alpha. Go short that beyond many mistaken... Be careful, Derby. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this Alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Alright. So, let me see. Before I quite literally tackle this uh, person, I need more Pokeballs. Okay, so... Let's get out the crafting box. I can make five heavy balls. Okay. Unfortunately, that was all of the apricorns that I have. So I'm hoping if I'm going to try to catch this Pokemon, it's going to be in a heavy ball. Alright. So, when it comes to type advantage, uh, nothing beats good old-fashioned fire. Alright. Oh, wow. That didn't do anything of value. I guess I gotta face this one head on. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Let's hit the Ember. Probably the only chance I'm going to get a uh, super effective move before this thing keels over. Alright. So I didn't see it use a move that was a, wasn't a normal type, so I'm going to bring out Driflu now. Um, okay, let's give it some confusion. Alright. It had Aerial Ace, but that's the same move type as Drifloon right now. Try to do another Confusion. Alright. Alright, now I will use Hypnosis. Alright. Nothing like a good old school uh, Pokemon tactic. Oh. 
I think it's still got to attack despite the fact it actually did fall asleep. Alright. Starly's just out here for insurance, but I'm going to try to catch this one. Alright. One heavy ball. Yep, I caught Cricket to him. I need to go back down the mountain and also try to catch uh, Cricket Tot. All right. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone beat an alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. You'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off such a foe. Thank you for healing me for the third time. What in the world? And there is the true uh, Sinnoh descendant. It's the great word here. He looks upon you with kindness, Debbie. Oh wow, it's a Standler with a beard. I'd say the great weird deer has taken a liking to you, that's fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of his Sui while bearing an, a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly understanding stuff. A uh, Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like the right Pokemon of Alola. Um. Why do you know about Alola? <laughs> Professor Laventon, Derby. Captain Silene sent me. He said that once Derby carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adaman and the commander, but still, it is truly uh, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to th coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this island. The Great Word Deer has taken a liking to Derby as well. It's a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Oh, goody, goody. If you want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction core arrives. There we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. Let's say we all head back to the Wallflower. Alright. Two Geodudes and an Alpha Cricketoon. Not bad for a first excursion. All right. And the old chum, the usual potato mochi, please, and make it for three today as well. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors had ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, this is the cleaver that was reportedly stuck by powerful lightning, yes? 
I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, a further investigation is in order. The survey corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Debbie here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver so mighty even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duly bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear-headed and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. Yeah, the next day. Good morning, Derby. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Well, okay, I'm not going to be doing that right away. Um, instead, I'm going to save and quit. All right. Um, I need to use this record to save, right? That's the Pokedex. This is... Hmm, I don't know about that. I'm not entirely sure how, how to save my game, but um, I will go ahead and I will look that up uh, at the end of, um, after I'm off stream. So, um, so we had a good time with uh, tonight's game of, of uh, Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus. Um, you know, I believe this is a fun game. It does have a lot of interesting depth to it that I have never seen in a Pokemon game before. Um, it's certainly an interesting experiment, but I think at least as far as, far as story, the storyline goes, it is going by a little bit quickly. Um, it won't be long before more than half of uh, Twitch has um, already blown through this game, but I have a tendency to go just a bit slower than that. So yeah, we'll have plenty of time to play along with this title. Um, I'm going to be playing this a little bit on my own, but I am going to make it a point not to advance any story until uh, I come back on stream. So uh, please stay tuned. I am I am hope, looking forward to uh, completing this uh, stream online. So, uh, the, uh, continuing this game of Pokemon Legends Arceus Online. That's what I meant to say. Alrighty, everybody. So thank you for tuning in to tonight's stream. Once again, I'm the Scarlet Derby. I'm a superhero of yesterday and star of multiple comic books and light novels. You'll be able to find anything I'm responsible for on my website, which is the Scarlet Derby Streams. I also have a Twitter. Um, if I do any bonus streams throughout the week, I will post them on Twitter before I come online. Um, so be sure to follow my Twitter page in order to see when I'm, I'm most likely going to be doing a stream. But also, I am on every Friday and Saturday night beginning at uh, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. If you're watching on Twitch right now, please stay tuned for a raid. But um, other than that, um, ta-ta. I will see you tomorrow with more stuff, with another playthrough, but I haven't decided what it is yet. Anyways, thank you, everybody, for tuning in.